welcome now to Shout Out Wednesday, only we have new rules for Shout Out Wednesday. Post a question or a comment on the Soul Garden Collective TV only. It's got to be on the Soul Garden Collective TV underneath your sign and your horoscope, and I will do my best to shout back one week later. Well, it looks like for the Librans, cloudy and a bit spaced out today. The moon isn't an air sign just like you, so you're not feeling heavy, heavy emotion. But with the moon in Gemini, your emotional focus really is emotional learning, the expansion of wisdom and how wisdom and emotions go together. So this is that transit we have once a month where we tend to read emails that maybe pissed us off in the last 30 days or replay conversations in our head. And we're just kind of processing how we feel about certain beliefs and philosophies and our philosophies around certain feelings. So I'm predicting you'll be spaced out probably for another 24 hours. Now adding to that spaciness, the sun in chapter two today ruled by Mercury Gemini. Now the topic for Librans this month is Frankly, your lifestyle, how you live in your body, how you get to work, do you go to work, how you live moment to moment, the services you do to humankind, basically. And with being in the center of Chapter 2 of Sun and, Gem uh, Sun and Pisces, it means it's now time to explore. With Gemini ruling the day, today's an excellent day to get some information that you've been looking for that might lead to a potential solution to any of those areas around lifestyle. This also includes health and injury. So if you're an injured Libran or you're having health issues as a Libra, this is the transit where you want to get your health back under control and really get your body working for you. Now, one thing I want to point out, the sun is going to be opposing Saturn basically for the next two weeks, and it's eventually going to cross Uranus, which is going to be a major awareness upgrade when it does. But what the opposition means is there's going to be a balancing act that goes on for the next 14 days between your desire to pull weeds in your soul garden and your desire to get your lifestyle in order, to get it moving in your favor. So there'll be times where you'll realize you've got to face an old, old issue in your soul in order to have a great lifestyle. And there'll be other times where... Uh, by f not facing or facing issues in your soul, you might have to change your lifestyle to face them. For instance, if one of your long issues is addiction, for instance, not only are you going to have to face addiction all the way through your family and your genes and all that, but you're going to have to face addiction in the moment in your lifestyle. Actually stop that substance abuse, that sort of thing. Then finally for our shout out goes to Jen Loop on the Soul Garden Collective. Just want to say thank you, Jen Loop, for being such a huge participant, especially in you know, the light. Just want to officially say hi to Jen Loop. All right, that's all we have for today. I'll see you folks tomorrow with more. The love be. So good.